So now I'm going to do another question, which is Kokuva Ntetelo. And he has given us something very exciting. He's also given us alphabets. There's not actually a molecule, so we don't know if it's a carbon or oxygen or so forth, but there's no diagram. So now we have to start analyzing what we're given. So um, Tlakuva's and Tatello's question says, we must consider the equation, and the equation is 2y is 2x, and it is gas plus a y. Remember, if there's no number in front, it means that it's a 1. It is in equilibrium, and it's 2z and a g. And the question says, 4 moles, 4 moles of Z are pumped, so that's the initial are pumped. And remember, if something is pumped and the other one nothing is said, it means that they are zero. Start putting that in your mind, are pumped into, a, then we have a five cubic decimeter, so my volume is correct, container at a temperature of 650 Kelvin. So after a short while, after, so I'm just going to say some time, after some time, equilibrium is reached. Equilibrium is reached. Equilibrium is, let's say, established. Let's use that big English. It is established. The word established just means reached. Established, and at equilibrium, we have 0.5 moles of y present present okay step number one what i would do i would write the equation again which is 2x and we know that is a gas plus y which is g equilibrium we've got 2z and which is g so i just want us to reread the question so four moles of z are pumped so i'm going to use my method I'm going to start what I've used and what I have at equilibrium. So now with this one, I'm not going to use ratios because I'm not given a graph, right? They've just given it straight to, straight to me, straight and forward. And now I just have to use a lot of mathematics and work out what, I, what I'm actually looking for. So four moles of Z are pumped. So initially, I have four moles of Z. Remember, when something is being put, all the others do not exist. They are all zero. They haven't been made yet. They are, it's pumped in a five cubic decimeter flask at 650 Kelvin. After some time, equilibrium is established. So at equilibrium, so I've got 0 0.5 moles of Y at equilibrium. So I'm going to have 0 0.5 moles at equilibrium. Now, another trick for this one, what I teach my kids, I'm going to use ratios. I'm going to put a 2x there because I've got a 2, but I don't know what, I don't know what I've, uh, what I've used at the Y. I just have an X because now I've got zero minus something gave me that. And then on this side, I just have a four, but it also is a two X. And that's where I get these twos from. And you'll see um, where I get it. So I'm just going to work on here. So now I'm going to work with these two. So I'm going to say zero. Remember, this is what is being used up because it is being subtracted. I started off with this, it's being used up so that I can make the other um, product on my left-hand side. That's why it will be. It will start subtracting. So this side will start subtracting. I know that this side will start adding and this side will start adding. So now think about it. I, had, I started off with nothing. I gained something all of, something all of a sudden and then I have 0 0.5. What does that tell us? It means that my x will be 0 0,5 going to remove this x. Now it's just more ratios. I'm going to add 0 0.5 moles. Does it make sense? I started off with 0. 0 plus 0 0.5 gives me 0 0.5. So the value of 1x is 0 0.5. On this side, I've got two x's. So wherever I see an x, if I've got two x, wherever I see an x, I'm going to put the 0 0.5 let me, that's just going to give me one. That's, yeah, that's just going to give me one. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to say, oh, so I subtracted one. I actually subtracted one mole on this side. So four minus one gives me three moles at equilibrium. In this case, again, I've, I've got two X. The value of one X is 0 0.5. Do it exactly like this one. And then I get one again. And remember, it's being added. 
So I've added one mole. I started off with nothing, I gained one mole. So at equilibrium, I end up having one mole of the molecule of X. Just take this away. So that is step number one for this graph that we've already done. But we're not done yet. We need to calculate the Kc. So now remember, when we're calculating Kc, we use the same formula all and every time. I use C is equal to N over V. My moles at equilibrium, in this case, I have one. And they've told me that the flask or the container that it's at is five cubic decimeters. So here I have a five. Just write all of them. C equals N over V. I know it sucks to write formulas, but please write it down because you do get marks for your formula. They are in the same flask, which has a volume of five. C concentration is moles over volume. My moles at equilibrium for my Z is three. It is in the same flask, which is five cubic decimeters. Okay, now let's get this right with the calculator. So now if I'm gonna calculate the first one, I'm gonna have one over five. I get 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Now remember when we calculate concentration, it's mole per cubic decimeter. Let's do the next one. Now I've got 0 0.5. It is in a flask of five cubic decimeters. I get 0 0.1. So I have 0 0.1. 0, 0,1. I'm just going to write it here, mole per cubic decimeter. Let's do the last one. Always try to be consistent and be neat when you're working so that the examiners can see exactly what you're doing. So I've got 3 over 5. Remember to say SD. I get 0, 0,6. So I get 0, 0,6 and that is mole per cubic decimeter, right? But I'm still not done. We are still yet to calculate KC. Now we know calculating Kc, we use the formula Kc is equal to product. Product are over your reactants. Products are on your right hand side, your reactants are on your left hand side. Reactants are what you start with, products what you have, have at the end. My product is a z. Remember, the number in front becomes an exponent. All over my reactants, I've got x. The two in front becomes an exponent. I have a y. The y has a one. You don't have to write the one. Now we write the values. You don't write these values here at equilibrium. No, you write the concentration that it will have at equilibrium. So z at equilibrium, I have a value of 0 0.6. Remember to square that. Always use square brackets because they actually represent concentration when you're doing chemistry. And that is squared. I have a y which has 0 0.1. Okay, let's calculate what do we get there. Remember to always put everything in brackets so we don't get our mathematics wrong. I've got 0 0.6 squared all over 0 0.2 squared and 0 0.1. I'm gonna say equals to, and then I get 90. So my KC for this question will then be 90. And that is Klukuva and Tetelo's question. So the interesting part with this question was that we were not given X, Y's and Z's. And already as a student, when you see X, Y and Z, because we're always dealing with X and Y's and Z in mathematics, and then they bring it in in chemistry. But the only thing that you had to remember is to take a deep breath and then work with what you were given. In this case, we were told that initially we had four, Meaning if we start off with this, this must be zero because we're trying to make that. At equilibrium, we had 0 0.5. How did I get this? I used my ratios. It is a ratio of two is to one is to two. Meaning if this is 0 0.5 and that represents X, here I need twice as much as that. Remember, one cup of flour equals two tablespoons of baking powder. It will always be the same. Four cups of flour will become eight tablespoons of baking powder. That's the mole ratio. So one of this means I need two of that. So that's how I got uh, one mole on this side, and that's how I got one mole on this side. Another thing to always remember, if we start off with something, it doesn't get more and more and more. It gets used up, and that's why we started using a negative. On this side, we had to add because it was we were having more and more of it. Then we had to calculate 
the concentration, and then that is then how we find my value for Kc.